is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2016 SJ Port Challenge is dedicated to your friend and ours, Paul Wickstein. Brought to you by Brewcraft USA. I make Gladfield Malting, Yakima Valley Hops, The Grain Bill, Brewers Exchange, Cake Kingdom Homebrew Supply, Hiraki Homebrew, and a special thanks to our silver sponsors. Main Brew Guy here. I have another beer review for the SJ Port Challenge, the Hamilton Pale Ale, with an ABV of 4.2%. It was uh, also fermented with uh, London Ale Yeast. It has uh, three different hop selections. He's got the description right on here. A crisp pale ale brewed with Centennial, uh, Citra, and Amarillo hops. Dry hopped with Cascade and added lemons and orange peels to give a more citrus note. Well, let's find out. So it's 23 Echo, 35 Delta, 59 Mike. That is the ID for this. All right, here we go. Small hiss. Okay, same glass again. Go with the pour. I'm not even going to try to guess what beers were condition, bottle condition, and what beers were filled with a bottle gun. I'm going to treat them all the same. I'm not going to pour the last bit in. Um, just to be sure, and I don't care either way. Doesn't matter to me. Well, this is odd because this looks identical to the one I just reviewed, which is was the uh, ISA. Uh, identical in head and color. Okay, so I'm not getting the nose that I was on the ISA, which is appropriate. So that was well um, balanced. I am getting the orange peel big time. Not much of a head. It doesn't have the lacing that the IPA did. Oh, sorry, I make all that noise. Um, exactly the same color. So that color would be an orange, burnt orange, kind of slightly caramel color to it. So I'm getting the lemon, the orange peel. I'm getting a little bit of caramel sweetness in there. Yeah, that's... Yeah, oh boy, I'm spilling beer all over the place. This is my first beer today, too. Um... Embarrassing. Uh, that's um, I'm getting almost a little bit of a candy apple, almost like that caramel candy apple with lemons and oranges. I'm not picking up any. I'm not picking up any of the dominant hop flavors in there. I think I'm getting more of the the spices added to that. So let me go off camera and uh, review this uh, aroma that I'm kind of digging and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get the, um, plus I didn't put the papers in front of me, and uh, I'll come back with my notes. All right, I have my scoring sheet here and I've written everything down and uh, I'm kind of sticking to what I previously said, but the lemon, I think the lemon peel, it was weird because the orange peel was the predominant aroma when I first popped it, you know, when I first poured it rather. Now the predominant aroma is the lemons, so that's only been five minutes since I put this bottle uh, into the glass. Anyway, let's go for the taste. I know you added the lemon peel and the orange peel for the aroma, but I'm getting it in the flavor. I'm getting it in the beer. It's not bad that you added. It's what I'm getting. It's that sharp kind of pith, lingering thing. I don't know if I'm over sensitive to it, but I'm, I'm not a fan of that pithy kind of sharpness. Um, but um, other than that, uh, there, I'm not picking up. Other than that, where I'm, I'm not sure where I'm getting that green apple from. Just personally, I don't like the pith anymore <laughs> because of how I destroyed a beer with that pithy kind of astringency. Maybe back off when I would probably just eliminate the lemons and the orange altogether. And if you want to get that citrus note, maybe just add a little coriander. It's it's a little hazy, uh, which is fine. Um, I'm not 
Honestly, all these beers, I'm not really grading for clarity. I'm just making a note that they're either clear or hazy. I could give a rat's ass if they are cloudy or hazy. It's how, how well balanced is the beer. All right. Okay, well, I am back from uh, drinking some more of this beer and really trying to put past my bias on uh, lemon peel and orange peel, the stringent kind of things that have absolutely nothing to do with your brewing process, which is unfortunate. It's the spice itself that does that. And if that's what you were after and that's what you like, that's fine. Um, it's, it, it's not balanced in the beer the way it is. That is all I have for the beer. I wish, um, I almost wish you didn't add it at all because I think this beer would have really rocked it. Uh, okay, well, that's it. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up. And I didn't hate it. I just am a little biased for those flavors right now for my own problem. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, cheers.